choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm here with Faye from Lunt Solar Systems, uh, one of the most well-known uh, telescope and uh, optical companies out there for solar. And we have a really big uh, two years ahead of us. Yes, We've got we do, two yeah. eclipses, an annular eclipse in 2023, a total solar eclipse in 2024. Um, I'm sure you're getting lots of interest. Yes. Uh, is there anything new going on here with one? Is there anything you're excited about? Sure, yeah. We, well, we're always excited about solar because that's what we do. Um, but yeah, we have, you know, some cool systems, uh, you know, that are for, you know, different types of customers that are out there. You know, we have people that are kind of entry level or people that are really into the hobby. Um, so for our entry level scopes, Thank and this you. is also really good for the Eclipse, uh, this is our Lunt 40 millimeter. Uh, this is a very simple system that you can basically set up, put it on like a solar tracking mount and you just, you know, tune it and you're good to go. So if you want something that's not going to give you too much fuss if you're setting up for the Eclipse, uh, this is a nice instrument to take. Um, we also have our universal system. So these are actually convertible. So you can do H-alpha, white light, calcium, and then you can even use this for night. It's a nice triplet OTA on here. Uh, so this can convert for night use as well. Uh, wow, benefit okay. of this is take it all with you. So you know you can right. go to the eclipse or a star party, set up in the daytime, transition into night, knowing that your OTA also holds up for night. So you can even image with it. You know, you're not seeing commas on the stars. They're nice and pinpoint uh, through our system. So what, what's the difference between a nighttime telescope and a solar telescope uh, from your perspective? Because I know that there's many different ways to skin the cat, right? Sure, So sure. What, what's different? I mean, you can convert a nighttime scope to a solar scope, yeah. but why maybe that's not always the best idea? Okay, sure. So, you know, one thing for sure, especially once you get into our larger systems, is we offer pressure tuning on our systems. And what that is, uh, is the etalon in the system lives in a pressurized cavity. So as you, as you increase the pressure, it actually brings the system onto band. So the etalon's never being shifted or compressed in any way. It's always staying in a nice, even uh, positioning. Uh, so with that, you have a really good amount of adjustability. So say you're looking at a filament or something of that sort. Uh, you would be able to tune to it, but also through it. So you have enough adjustment within the pressure tuner to be able to see if you can draw a little more detail right. out of it. So that's one of the big differences with our products versus uh, our competitors. Now, if you're interested in imaging, is there any particular scope that would be most well you know, set up for yeah. that purpose at, yeah. at the, maybe the mid to lower price range in the group? Because sure. I know I'm, they all probably can do some level yes. of imaging. So here's the thing, uh, with the right camera, all of our systems can be used for imaging. Uh, we offer a couple options with the, within each product uh, to give you a larger blocking filter to allow you to image, so you have a little more field of view to work with. Um, obviously, as you go up in aperture, you're going to increase your image size. Uh, so if you can imagine something like with the 7.1 millimeter image size, you're going to have a nice amount of resolution. So zooming in on finer details, especially if your conditions are like stellar conditions that day, uh, you're going to be able to see, you know, even spiculi through this, which is definitely wow. one of the finer solar details that you can't always catch uh, with a smaller system. Excellent. Do you have a, a cloud removal tool? <laughs> you got that's me on what that everybody one. Wants. Like, Wait. That's what everybody wants. <laughs> no, is that cloud no, see, tool. They, they always show up with our shipments, so I, I can't okay. guarantee anything on that. Yeah, they're all, yeah. already spoken for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much, Faye. Yeah, I really do you, appreciate yeah. it. Excited Thanks. for the 2023 20, uh, and 2024 solar eclipses. Uh, Lunt Solar Systems folks always bringing it to the next level in solar.